plants. They are all around us. You could find different kinds of plants in different biomes. Plants are essential for human life. They provide us with oxygen, they provide us with food, and they even provide us with shelter in a way. We are going to be learning a lot about plants this year, but today we're going to start with how we can classify plants. Hi everyone, welcome to Science Friday with Miss Lapierre. Today, we're going to be talking about how we can classify plants. What does it mean to classify something? Classifying something means that you're putting it into groups. For example, I can classify children in a class by their hair color. When we classify plants, it helps us identify what kind of plants that they are. We can classify plants by their color, size, and shape, but we can also classify plants by how they reproduce, which means how they make baby plants, and whether or not they grow flowers. If a plant grows flowers, then we call that a flowering plant. And examples of this are orange trees and cacti. You might not really think to put those two in the same category, but both of them grow flowers, so they are both flowering plants. Some flowering plants grow fruits, which we eat. For example, pumpkins, apples, even some cacti produce fruit. If you have ever had a prickly pear, that comes from a prickly pear cactus. This time of year, it is fall here in Rhode Island, and I'm noticing that some of the trees are changing colors. We call those trees that have their leaves change colors deciduous trees. And that's just a really fancy word for saying trees that lose their leaves in the fall and then regrow them in their spring. Do you have deciduous trees in your area? Not all plants grow flowers. Some plants grow cones instead of flowers to make seeds. If you've ever seen a pine cone, that's a perfect example of this. When the seeds fall out of the cones, they spread and new plants can grow. Now, I already told you about deciduous trees, which are the trees that do lose their leaves in the fall. But what about all of the ones that don't change? For example, pine trees. One word for this kind of tree is evergreen. Coniferous trees do not lose their leaves in the fall. Both flowering and non-flowering seed plants make seeds. That's how new plants are born. That is how they reproduce. Did you know that there is another way for plants to reproduce? It's called spores. Examples of plants that reproduce using spores are ferns and mosses. These plants do not have seeds and instead they produce spores on the undersides of their leaves. A spore is a small cell that grows into a new plant. So let's go for a little walk here and let's see all the different kinds of plants that we could find here in this park. But remember kids, do not eat berries if you do not know they are safe for eating. This is an Eastern Red Juniper Cedar. It is a coniferous evergreen tree. 
This deciduous plant is a crab apple tree and it is a flowering tree. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for coming with me and learning about how we can classify plants. And I will see you in two weeks for our next science video for Science Friday. Have an amazing weekend, bye. notes almost blew away.